now let's say I want this channel number two I want to press it uh, get it in the favorites uh, menu I'm gonna press and hold the OK middle navigation and I'm gonna go down to add favorites and just like that if I go to the left button navigation button again and go up you'll see the channels added to my favorites that's pretty handy because I only use my favorites list uh, let's see what else can I show you guys if I want to record this if your IPTV provider has uh, uh, allowed it if it comes with the package you can record channels press OK and you can do record or remind uh, custom recording you have a lot of options keep in mind it comes with 4 gigabyte if you love to record your programs then I recommend getting extra storage uh, you can hide channels block channels child options you have a lot of functions as you can see okay oh that was wrong okay so if you have video on demand services you can also go through that by going to the left navigation button again left again here you have your recordings that you've saved here you have list if you have uh, video on demand services then you will see movies and tv star uh, tv shows in the in this menu here okay let's go to settings and see if we see anything special there too so what i like to do is appearance and we have the user interface transparency i like to set that to 80 and you'll see what i mean right away So you see here that the transparency is more if i press back again yes in this menu only the transparency okay let's go back back and let's go to appearance again and let's search for buffer size i would like to keep that at very large that means that the channel will be loaded more auto framing off these you can also all leave at the same option uh, so if we go to general and if you're using this just for the IPTV service provider and you want to always when you start up the device always start up the app you'll just press here on auto app uh, on boot so that means when the, the device the Google TV starts up it will automatically start up the channels that's where we're gonna allow now we're gonna press OK and we're gonna go down we're gonna search for TV mate and we're gonna go press back that's about it and we're gonna go back to settings by the way i forgot to show you that if you want to go to settings fast you just press ok on the navigation button go down go left press ok so i'm just going to show you guys that again if you're on the screen you're going to press ok go down go left press ok we're going to press on general auto on auto start on boot auto start app on wake from sleep mode and we're gonna leave this up okay we're also gonna back up data which is very important if you uh, doing a yeah if by any chance you delete the app or something corrupt happens to the app you can always uh, uh, back up restore your data especially with uh, the the favorite so I'm just gonna press this in my download folder and select now it's going to create a backup and that's how it's back up backed up so if you reinstall the application the first thing you need to do is log in with your premium account that's not back to back up after you logged in you're going to go to the settings general and you're going to go all the way down and you're going to press restore uh, backup you're going to select select local backup and in this case i'll go to download 
and I'll press OK here and then it will restore all my channels and my favorites and also the settings of TV Mate itself. Okay. Uh, if we have subtitles, let's see which channel has subtitles. Uh, you press OK. You go to the right. Oh, you see subtitles is turned off. We want to always press that on. And this channel show close caption for all channels is available, which I'm going to press OK. So all channels will always have subtitles if it's available for those channels. Then we're going to go to system settings for channel options. And we're going to display it. This is how it will look like uh, uh, the subtitles, which I don't like it. I don't like the black. It's taking too much. So I'm going to do custom all the way down. And I am going to do show background. No, black. And this one gonna press like this hmm. okay so we're gonna uh, uncheck this mark again and what we're gonna do is the text color is white text opacity is 100% and we're gonna add a edge color and we're gonna do outlined and the edge color will be black this is how i have set it up for myself this is the way i like it what you also can do is change the font i like the way it is and you can also do the text size if you think it's small you can make it large or oh very large it's also possible I'm just gonna have it normal like this and as you can see it's white on black again so I'm gonna press custom okay that's about it so yeah I have explained most of the things uh, that can happen for the best settings let's say for instance the app is not working properly anymore you're not having uh, uh, the channels are not working good here as you can see the subtitle is also showing now uh, there's a few things you can do well, actually, it's very simple. If an app or a video on demand is not working, you just go to settings. You go to apps, TV Mate. You do four stop, press OK, and you do clear cache. Catch. You press OK again, then you open the app, and it should work now if you have any problems if it uh, ha uh, the problem happens with the video on demand what you can do is uh, uh, that's a no there's a known problem right now with the newest update of tv mate uh, that the video on demand services sometimes give an, gives an error when playing a uh, uh, movie uh, what works best is to go press back again and press play again and try that three times if it's not working then close the app and clear the cache and that's about it if you have any questions please leave a comment if you like this video please smash the like button and start following my channel and thank you very much for watching and until next time goodbye